Hey y'all, Will here, otherwise Zell Ray, and we're jumping straight into hard mode Arachism. Spider lady, spider, whatever you may call her. Um, it's, it's not that bad of a fight. It is straightforward, however, it has a lot of things coming at you that if you don't take care of in the right order, you, you end up with a little bit more trouble than you need. The first 33% of her health is a damage phase, yet if you knock her into the immunity phase too quickly, you cannot take care of the adds that she summons, specifically those three ghosts, cloth dogs, whatever you may call them. They have a long range leap that staggers you and causes a lot of trouble, so make sure that all the adds are down before you finish her phase like I just did there. Her damage is negligible as a boss is concerned. Everything else comes from the environment and adds around you. Ad control is major in this fight. The only time I neglect it is when I'm trying to find the eggs so I can try to take care of that phase earlier. With this egg phase, the realm is now pink purplish. It is a poison mist and the only way I have figured out to take care of this is to use long lasting quick activators. That's long lasting for the heal over time after the initial heal and uh, quick for the reduced cooldown so you can use them more often so you can rely on those activators uh, to heal you completely through the issue like I'm doing now and uh, as long as you do it before you drop usually they sustain you pretty well if you do run into a pinch which I do all the time during this fight or when I'm trying this fight Use the Festering Gel as your Deviant of choice for its healing properties in between cooldowns of your activators. Now you don't need to use the Festering Gel in completion, you're just looking to buy time before you can use your activator, then you can take it away and go about your business. What that allows you to do is later in the fight, most likely you'll be able to use it when you need it instead of wasting it all in one go. Unfortunately, most of the other Deviants waste their deviant power so quickly that sometimes that doesn't become as useful yet for the festering gel it is so just a, a tip on deviant power usage and in this fight how easy it, it can make a fight compared to how hard a fight can be um, once you get through with all the eggs you have to take care of all the ads before going to the boss otherwise you're getting flash banged by the baby doll spiders and uh, all that other fun stuff so as I said, when you get into these phases, there's going to be three of those ghosts that you have to take care of. And if you do take care of them, everything is much easier for you to deal with. Because dodging the ghosts on top of dodging the boss is very difficult. Um, and even though it's negligible damage if you do get hit, it still is better to not take it than get overwhelmed. Beyond that, the fight is simple we looked at all the phases uh, one other thing to mention is that in hard mode uh, the spider throws a lot more webs and webs means that you can get stuck and at least whenever I try this fight like she just shot out eight webs there at least once during this fight I find to get find myself to get stun locked by those webs so it, it, it's one of those things you got to be careful with um, I find that the between the mist and the hard to see uh, nature of the webs in general because they blend in with the river which they normally sit in or the rock sometimes they blend in with just because it's the rock is uh, colored in such a way that the, the webs are hard to see. Uh, it's, it's a pain in the butt and uh, it's almost aggravating rather than like scary to get webbed because it stun locks you in such a way that you can't get out of them when she is webbing she usually shoots a web under you when you are already webbed so there's no chance for you to get out of the web um like okay here we go perfect example of webs i want to go towards my festering gel to make sure i heal but now i have ads to deal with so i'm trying to get away and you're you're frantic and you just get hit by web after web now you're blinded so you can't see and as soon as you get away from that whole endeavor um, now you need to worry about ads and then you get webbed and as I said the damage isn't bad but once you get into this mess there's so many webs around you you can't get out of them one thing I have found that makes it easier to get away is strafe jumping strafe dodging to give you some distance while you're trying to deal with the actual mechanics of the fight uh, 
the dodge gets a pretty good distance between you and enemies, especially if you're using the Weaver's Potion, which allows you to put down your own spider web to slow the enemies. So that's that's pretty much the only major thing outside of everything else I talked about that you have to worry about. Once you get all the adds taken care of in this fight and the ghosts on top of the spiders, the fight is very simple and all you have to do is DPS the boss. That's all there is to it. And the final thing to mention is the loot. Um, all bosses in this game, especially in hard mode because it becomes much more uh, reliable then, is you can target farm bosses for modifications for your armor and weapons. Uh, specifically silos usually give you armor and bosses give you weapons. In this case, what we get to see is fast gunner and the bullseye mods appearing from this boss's uh, loot pool. I wish there was better armor choices for the bullseye or at least a few more legendaries to make it feel like a better build. I know it's supposed to be support, but it's the build that I would go with personally if I could get drops to make it feel like I'm not doing no damage. With that said, that's the whole fight, the loot, and what you had to do to make sure that you as an individual or part of a team gets through it so hopefully you enjoyed you learned something all of these loot things that i'm picking up right now also give acid so it, it's a big thing to get um i'm gonna cut it short because i'm trying to finish the video but acid is a blessing in this game make sure you pick up as much as you can and catch you later